Bom dia. I am Alan. I am here with my wife, Leslie, our son, Wolf, our dog, Greer, and Rex the cat. We are from the United States and now live in Portugal on the beautiful island of Madeira. We would like to thank all of our subscribers for being here. And for anyone new, we hope to earn your subscription today. We all want a happy retirement, and what that means to each of us is different. The big ideas and adventures we have been forming and changing in our minds throughout our lives. Finding the perfect location to create this next stage of life is what we are discussing today. So why Portugal? We have spoken to this before, but let's speak to it from a different standpoint today. Here we go. Let's talk about it. We hope you will find our journey helpful as you work to navigate your own. It'll be fun. Vicera de Bertito. Today's video takes us to the very first Lavada walk we did on the island of Madeira. Lavada Nova and Lavada do Moino. We went on this walk our second day here. This is where we started this new love affair with Madeira and cemented our love for Portugal. We had to overcome the steep vertical drops and the skinny walks, quickly learning to work together to get from one end to the other. Sounds simple, but that is where we started letting go of all the stuff we had collected in our life, as well as the clutter in our minds. To realize we could truly enjoy a more minimalistic lifestyle let the weight lift and choose. Allow us to hold ourselves, not by what we have, but who we are. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you will receive notifications for our latest videos. Why did we choose Portugal? And why would we choose to live on an island in the middle of the ocean? You know or are learning that Portugal has wonderful reasons to be put on your list for consideration, such as an affordable European country, has great health care, both public and private. The people are welcoming and friendly. The country provides a stable political environment. Portugal is number six on the list of the world's safest countries for 2022. For reference, the USA is at 129 out of 163 countries that were ranked. The cities of Portugal are rich in history, beautiful, and filled with cultural heritage that goes back to a time before the Romans. The countryside is rolling, beautiful, and inviting with the grapevines of the wineries and the wonderful rows of olive trees dotting the countryside. We find that the reasons for building a life here have to do with all of the opportunities to simplify your life. Learning or relearning to enjoy nature. The mountains here are as high as the Smoky Mountains at just over 6,000 feet high. They are crisscrossed with lavadas that were built to bring water from the north, wetter side of the island to the south, drier side of the island. Each of these lavadas has a pathway next to it that allows you to take a walk or hike. And the views are incredible. The island has many charming small villages to enjoy with a visit. Or perhaps one of these is where you will choose to settle. We have found it wonderful to sit at a local beach bar, have a local beer, a bolo de caco, which is the local bread, some lapas or sardines. The island offers healthy food options as well, with wonderful taste to fall in love with.
So, what do we love about Madeira? Let's start off with where it's at. It's located in the Atlantic Ocean about 450 miles off the coast of Africa and about 600 miles from Lisbon. It's a short plane flight to mainland Portugal that is very cost effective for your adventures off the island. This allows you to explore the world without any feelings of isolation island life could bring to mind. The island is 35 miles long and 14 miles wide. The main city of Funchal has about 110,000 people living in it, and the island's total population is about 250,000 people. Today, the island is known for Madeira wine production, rum, bananas, and tourism. But the history here goes back hundreds of years. The island was first settled in 1420 and offers the largest lower silver forest remaining in the world. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Alan, what does a happy retirement mean to you? Uh, it means the freedom to, uh, to do what I want. Uh, to be able to explore this beautiful island, to explore Europe, to travel, to live a comfortable life, to enjoy time with my family, and be happy. What recommendations would you give to those looking to the island of Madeira? And is there any information you think people should know before coming on a journey here? Recommendations where you definitely got to come here to visit. Uh, as far as information goes, there is a plethora of things that you can do while you're here. Um, there's Levada walks, obviously, what we're doing today. There's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, one of the largest Laura Silver preserves in the world. Uh, there's the people, there's the culture, there's the festivals that are constantly someplace on the island. There's something going on. So you're not going to get bored here. And one of the things, Alan, that I know that we discovered was simply that the island was very hilly. Yes, it is, as you can plainly see. It's a mountainous volcanic island, and it is like Hawaii, but uh, it's it's rugged, and you gotta have, have some conditioning to be able to get around here. But for the most part, if you pick a Labada, you you could probably do it. How's it getting when you're walking in the city? Yeah, in city, uh, if, you, if you walk in Funchal, it's pretty walkable. Um, it's it's not bad at all. And really I is. know that, that you know people worry about the fact that they speak Portuguese on the island, and obviously learning Portuguese is one of the most difficult languages. How are you feeling uh, after a year in with regards to communication? Sure, Portuguese is the official language. However, there are many people on the island that do speak English. Uh, when you get to the little tiny things out in the country someplace, you might have trouble, but for the most part, English you'll get by, you'll get by on English. At this point, if you enjoy our videos, we would like to invite you to become a member of our Patreon community. Links to this and more can be found in the description of our videos. Look, we have people asking all the time, why did you decide to come on this adventure with a couple of old people? Oh, uh, you know, back in the States, there was this little thing called COVID uh, that set up a situation where everything I did was online. All my work, all my school, everything was online. And then my parents gave me this offer of, would, you, would, you, would I like to come with them to this little island in the middle of the ocean? And I mean, I really had no clue what it was at first, but it, it presented an interesting option for me because I always wanted to come to Europe and I'd intended to someday get a citizen citizenship in Europe. I had the chance to drop everything I was doing and go with them to Madeira, which I, I obviously jumped on because it's not like I was leaving anything behind. I can continue doing everything online and I, I love it here. It's wonderful. And then one of the things that people ask or don't seem to 
understand that as a parent that your father and I understand is that simply we know that you can go back to the United States when you're older. There's nothing preventing you from doing that. Your the options are, are open for you. Absolutely. So when traveling off the island, what what do you got? Do you still need to have your U.S. passport, your residency card? How does that help you um, in regards to traveling throughout Portugal? So uh, the residency card is more so for Portugal, not for EU, because I have to show because my passport shows that I've been here for a while. They have to see, well, do you have a legal reason why you can be here for as long as you've been here? Uh, which is what the residency card is, do, is for. Uh, my passport is still ne necessary for all of Europe, um, and it doesn't really help me yet, which is why I was kind of hoping to stay in Portugal long enough to get a citizenship, citizenship because that would significantly smooth out, smoothen out all of my travel in, within the EU if I have the Portuguese citizenship yeah, with the passport. Would. Absolutely. We came here to add a new adventure to our lives, to live a life that was not about what we did for a living, one that would allow us to stop looking after things. If you are new to our channel, we invite you to join us on our journey. The island surrounds us with access to natural beauty, peaceful walks in the mountains on Lobatas, and swims in the ocean. We have time to enjoy the simple things, like a walk with a dog, hanging out with a cat, and meeting for a coffee. These things are not materialistic. With all the island's natural beauty, it's never boring. We create new adventures every day and do not really know what the next one will be. Maybe a walk in town, a hiking, through the center of the island, meeting new friends, or enjoying the many festivals here on the island. We like to say there's a festival someplace on the island every week of the year. Boredom truly is a choice here. You finally get to take responsibility for your journey instead of being drug along by it in the fast paced materialistic life of before. Your life is happening now. Life is a gift.